In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute magnet board with items from the Dollar Tree. These little flowers here are actually attached to magnets. Hold on, I'm going to try to show you without, without dropping my, my phone here. They're actually attached to magnets. And you know, you can use this little board to attach photos or you know, recipe cards while you're cooking. Just a really cute, simple little something that'll be a really nice Mother's Day gift or a gift for any other time. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so what you're going to need is one of these little silver serving trays from the Dollar Tree. This is a rectangular one. They do have round and oval, but for this particular craft, I really like the, the rectangular shape. You're going to need to paint it. So you can use acrylic paint if you want to. Just wipe your tray down really, really well with some rubbing alcohol before you paint it, okay? Wipe it down, let it dry, then paint it. But I myself, y'all know I love spray paint, and I really like the American Accents from Rust-Oleum. So this is what I used in the color Candy Pink. This is the gloss paint. Some women brag about shoes and handbags. I brag about how many cans of spray paint I got. <laughs> it's all over the house. Um, along with that tray, you're going to need one of these display easels. This is also from the Dollar Tree. This is over near the, the uh, picture frames and whatnot. Mine was up on the very top shelf, so I don't know where it's going to be in your store. Um, you're going to need something to measure with. So I have my handy dandy, this Southern Girl Can ruler here, so that you can measure your tray and measure your paper, draw it out and then cut it with scissors. If you don't want to do that, you can use one of these cool paper cutters like I have here from the Paper Studio. You can find these at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, any craft store like that. Um, you're also going to need some Mod Podge. I usually make my own, but I have just a tiny, tiny little bit left in this container. And I'm trying to use it up so I can throw it away. So you're going to need Mod Podge, something to paint the Mod Podge with, the Mod Podge onto your tray with. So, you know, some of these little spongy applicator things are helpful. You need some ribbon, some artificial flowers, and I'm going to spruce this one up a little bit with some glitter. So I have this extra fine glitter here and another paintbrush that I'm going to apply some Mod Podge with. You need some magnets. I found these little button magnets at Walmart. You get a big pack of them. They're fairly cheap. I can't remember right off the top of my head how much they were. But you can get these at Walmart or you can get these at the Dollar Tree. They have bigger ones in a pack of six or these small ones in a pack of eight. And they come in a few different colors. I thought they had like a reddish pink, a blue, and then this black color. And these are really neat because they're, they're really smooth on top. So you could put on some Mod Podge and then put some a scrap of fabric on top of it, you know, to decorate or put a sticker on it, you know, whatever you want to do. For this tutorial, I'm just going to be using these little button magnets. Uh, let's see, scissors, the artificial flowers, and I think that's pretty much it except for just a piece of paper, cardstock, whatever you want to use to decorate the inside of your tray. You can use um, a scrap of wrapping paper or a, a pretty picture cut off of a gift bag if you want to, but I have tons and tons of these big scrapbooking booklet thingies. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite ones is the Kirby Teasdale Studio from the Paper Studio. There's just so many really pretty designs in this one. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. And for this, I'm going to be using this one with this pretty vintage antique looking bicycle and the flowers and everything. That's just so, so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this to fit my tray. Of course, my tray is already painted. So you can paint yours while it's drying, start cutting out your paper and all that. And my tray, I did use four coats of this spray paint. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut my paper here. Let's see, it's nine inches, nine and a half inches, excuse me, right at nine and a half inches wide. So that's what I'm going to cut mine at. It's okay if you cut it a little too big, you can just go back and trim it up with some scissors. And I always save my scraps of paper. Nothing goes unused in this house. I save all of my little scraps. Okay, so this one, and then it's roughly six inches tall. Okay, so there's the design that I'm going to use. Let's get this out of the way. I'm just going to make double sure. Yep, that will fit. You just need to go back and round off the corners just a little bit with a pair of scissors. So I'm going to do that right quick. I don't want to cut off too much. 
I'm just going to round the corners just a little bit to help it lay flat in the uh, in the tray. I think I may have cut off too much of that one, but it's okay. Boop. Okay, let's see how this looks. And it's upside down, you big dummy. Okay, that sounds like Fred Sanford, you big dummy. Let's see. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Pretty good. I might trim just a tiny bit off the top there. So excuse me while I do that. I'm just going to trim just a little bit. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your Mod Podge. Like I said, it doesn't matter if it's the glossy or the matte. And you're just going to paint a really thin layer. You see this, this lip here. You're going to paint a really thin layer right in this area. You're going to stick your paper down and then you're going to seal it with another really thin layer of Mod Podge. So I'm just going to start that process now. I know this is boring. I'm sorry. Oh Lord. What is that? Don't you hate it like when a piece of your Mod Podge just like glues in a lump? Oh my gosh. I've had that happen in two containers actually and this container is not that old which you know you never can know about how old it is when you get it out of the store but i'm just going to paint and try try not to get it like really thick around the edges because if you do when you lay your paper down the, the mod podge is just going to you know like kind of splatter out and we don't want that to happen and i'm just going to paint this and then i'll stick the paper in and then I'll pause the video because you want this to dry completely, okay? You want it to dry completely before we move on to the next step. Okay. Do you see what I just did? I just made a mess right there. It's all right. I'm going to wipe it off here a mess in, a, in a minute. And what I like about this paper from the paper studio out of these booklets, it's, it's fairly thick paper. I mean, it's not, you know, thin, flimsy. You know what I'm saying? It feels like some really good quality stuff. It's, it's a good brand. I really do like it. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. That's where I got it. Walmart also has over in their paper crafting section, they're starting to carry some really nice booklets too, you know, full of scrapbooking paper. So if you're not near a Hobby Lobby, or a Michael's or anywhere like that, check Walmart. I, I really never would have thought to look at Walmart. But um, yeah, they're starting to carry some, some cute stuff. Okay, I need to lay this down. And now we're going to just take our paper. Just lay it down in there. Okay, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to let this dry just for a minute or so before I go over the top with the Mod Podge, okay? I'm just going to let that dry for a second. Wipe off any excess with my finger. Just really press it down on there, okay? Cute! Okay, now I'm going to set that to the side. And now what I want to do is, with this uh, one artificial flower here, I want to spruce it up a little bit. And I did make, not too long ago, actually just a day or so ago, I did make a video showing how I like to add, you know, like just a little bit of something, you know, to the flowers like this. And how I do that is just with the paintbrush, a little small paintbrush. You can use Elmer's glue, you can use Mod Podge, whatever you want to use. I just like to paint the center of the flower with it. Now, you can buy flowers, you know, already. I, I call them spruced up. You can buy flowers already spruced up, you know, with these glitter accents. But they cost a little bit more. And me, I buy my flowers at the Dollar Tree. So, I just like to paint the center. And then you can sprinkle on a little bit of glitter. It just kind of gives a little something, you know. Just a little something, something extra. I really wish I would have had a bigger brush for this. It's okay. My kids like to get into my paint brushes, and then Lord only knows they scatter them to the four winds. So I never know where... Oh, Lord. I just got a bunch on there. Okay. So now that that's all coated, let's get my brush out of here. I just take my glitter, whatever color you want to use. I'm using gold. 
just cover it and then on top of a piece of paper just turn it over and then tap off all the extra and see that just adds a little something now if you want you can also take your brush and just like barely touch around the edges around the tips of your flower and sprinkle that with glitter also you know just to to give a little something special Okay, but there's that flower. And now I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm going to go over my picture here. I'm just gonna paint another thin layer of Mod Podge and let it dry. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. This has pretty much dried now. It is dry to the touch anyway. So what I've done is with this, this ribbon here that I got from the Dollar Tree, that's why I kind of added the gold to the center of this flower to reflect the gold that's in this ribbon. <laughs> this is such a pretty ribbon. But um, I cut two strips of ribbon. One that would fit going up and down like this, and the other that would go sideways like this. And because this is the gross grain ribbon, I'm going to seal the edges here so that they don't ravel on me while I'm working with it. Really simple to do with the lighter. Just run the edge over it just a little bit. Okay, so what I wanna do is take this ribbon and glue a piece this way and then glue a piece going this way. I'm not gonna use the Mod Podge for that because I've used Mod Podge um, to try to stick on little embellishments before and I wasn't happy with it. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this Elmer's glue. You can use whatever type of glue you want. Everybody's saying, why did you use craft glue? Look, use whatever you wanna use. I'm just here to give you the basic idea and then you run with it, okay? So I'm just going to stick this here and try to get it somewhat even. Don't worry if a little bit of the glue seeps out. It will dry clear, don't worry. Try to, I tried to get it as even on the ends as possible. Can y'all see this? I'm on y'all's way. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this other piece of ribbon and put just a little bit of glue. that okay now I want to glue it going this way I'm going to try to pick it up without making too big of a mess notice I said too big of a mess y'all know me you know I'm gonna make a mess or something okay let's stick it down right there right there right there just like that okay looking cute so far right I just I love the gold on this it's pretty 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 Okay, so now I have this flower here that I've decorated the center and this little nub right here on the back I want to cut that off without destroying anything and Then I'm going to put some hot glue on that Yeah, I'm with them focus here <laughs> I'm gonna put some hot glue on that and then I'm just gonna stick it right there where the ribbons crossed just right there and so if you make a mess with anything, don't worry. You can just go back later and clean it up. Okay, so just stick that right there. All of this is in the process of drying. So now I'm just going to set that right over there. And now we have our little magnets. And I also got these little cherry blossoms from the Dollar Tree. I thought that they were just adorable. And that's what I want to use for this. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little flower and I'm going to glue it to this magnet. Okay, so I'm going to take my scissors once again and trim off the end. I'm going to put a blob of hot glue and try not to burn myself. And then just going to stick the magnet just like that. Careful, careful, hot, hot, hot. Okay, I might make two for this one. And there is your cute little board with your little magnetic flowers and you can stick photos on here use it to hold recipe cards you know what have you I was just trying to show y'all something you know quick and easy for Mother's Day because I've been getting several messages you know people already planning for Mother's Day um, and just something fast that you can make that would also be useful so now you take the easel display, you're probably saying, where's that coming to play? All you're gonna do is just take that and this is what you can use to hold your little tray. I know this is gonna be hard to see, but see, you just set it on there like that. It holds it, you can put photos, like I said, recipe cards, whatever you want. Really, really simple, easy, and I think they're pretty. So, yep, you can use as many, many magnets as you want. I think I'm just gonna put two on here. 
But there you go. I think I'm going to make up a handful of these and then throw them in my Etsy shop. No, my Etsy shop is not technically open yet. It will be in the next few days, but I will put a link down below if y'all want to just keep an eye on it. You know, as I list more stuff, I put one wreath in there and it sold in just like two days. So, oh well. I'm going to try to stock some stuff in there and I'll try to make up a handful of these if I could find the trays. In my area, it's real hard to find these trays, the square ones anyway. But um, I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little project. If you would, please give it a thumbs up click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of those will be in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.